data acquired in parallel can be saved in a VAMAS file as a sequence of VAMAS blocks. In this example, we have carbon 1s and iron 2p spectra, which have been measured using a 2D detector, and so we end up with a set of detector slices, all saved as individual VAMAS blocks, and although the individual VAMAS blocks are low signal to noise, when we add them together, then you end up with two spectra that you would typically find for carbon 1s and iron 2p. So the test data property page provides the means by which spectra can be summed when they've been acquired in this way. You've got a, a consistent energy bin and a consistent measurement. So these, these are effectively identical measurements that have been saved in a data file. Now, although you can sum these data, as you've just seen, there is another method where you can sum based on a selection of the VAMAS blocks. So what we'll do is we'll organize a selection and we'll use this to illustrate another feature in CASA and this is how to profile a data file and use the profile information to make a selection within the data file. So what I've done is I've created a pair of regions, one for the C1S and one for, for the IN2P and using the custom report I've created a profile which gives intensity as a function of the slice. So if I hold the shift key down and then drag, I can end up with a pair of cursors indicating a range of slices. And when I go back to the original file using control F8, that cursor selection has selected a range of VAMAS blocks. So now when I say some selected VAMAS blocks, I end up with a new pair of spectra and these are based on a subset of the original set of VAMAS blocks. So let's just copy these into a file and see that we really have come up with different spectra based on the detectors that were included in the, in the final form of these carbon 1s and iron 2p spectra.